We have around 48 hours until the crypto world potentially changes forever. And what I'm going to do in this video is we have some breaking analysis from Alex Becker. What has he said in this post? Why does the crypto world potentially change forever very, very soon? Plus some other critical news you guys do need to know in the crypto market about the Bitcoin ETFs that are about to potentially hit, plus some other breaking stuff, plus the crypto prices, plus some meme coin gems at the end of the video. So if you guys enjoy the updates, smash the thumbs up button let's get straight into the video so guys it is getting down now to crunch time today is monday the 8th of january so wednesday is basically the day a lot of people in the world are expecting the crypto market to change forever with the bitcoin etfs and uh, to understand why exactly this is going to change uh, we're going to read from alex becker and it's actually something i told you guys weeks earlier on the channel but he's just put up a recent tweet let's listen in to exactly what alex becker has said right here so he says the reason the ETF is not a sell the news event is simple, self-custody. Say you're a retiree, pension fund, financial manager. Most people, including me, don't feel comfortable self-custodying millions or tens of millions of dollars uh, basically worth of crypto. There's no way they are just going to leave their money on, say, Coinbase either. So really, what is the option for a normie manager managing multiple clients or an individual to add large amounts of Bitcoins to their portfolio? The answer is they don't. This is what the ETF is for it allows the biggest money holders in the world to actively invest in a way that is comfortable and easy for them again no 65 year old with a 10 million dollar portfolio is gonna self-custody five hundred thousand dollars in bitcoin their manager is not going to self-custody it either especially not across 20 to 100 clients each with an etf they will making bitcoin a routine asset in the most funds slash portfolios aka this isn't a sell the news it's it's beginning of steady flow into the asset from the largest holders of wealth in the world. So guys, Alex Becker has also said when Bitcoin crosses 50, 60, 70K, game crypto will go effing nuclear finished right there. And he's actually reiterated exactly what I've been telling you guys on the channel right here. But I just also want to, uh, you know, add my own analysis into this. So I think there's going to be two things that are going to rock the crypto market. First thing, you want to get that official announcement from the SEC. I think that will actually impact the crypto market right here. So at the moment, we're trading around $43,000, $44,000. And this is the first thing we have to kind of watch out for because there is a lot of uh, speculation which way the Bitcoin price goes. Once we do get that announcement out, will it go up? Will it go down? Lots of different prediction so everyone's pretty much in the dark i would say right now but the second thing what alex becker is talking about right here is literally what i've been telling you guys on this channel for multiple weeks if not months and it's going to change the steady inflow of capital into the crypto market so he's 100 percent right in these regards so not everyone wants to have like a cold storage device in their house uh, with like hundreds of thousands of dollars or millions of dollars worth of bitcoin it's just too risky it's almost like having you know lots of gold in your property uh you know people can get robbed and things like that so you know one of the safer options for these big money investors and we're talking about people who have you know billions trillions of dollars potentially they're going to go in the form of an etf asset okay so it gives them a lot of exposure and it's a lot safer for them they don't have to self-custody their own cryptocurrency and it's the exact same way potentially as how a gold etf works so you there is a difference between holding uh, physical gold and an etf ETF as well. Uh, physical gold, you have to like store this on your property or somewhere, some location around the world, but you also have that risk of right you know what if you get robbed right what happens then it's a lot it's, it's quite risky but it might play a role if we ever get like the collapse of society or something like that and uh, you know people start trading gold around like that so it is a it's you know it's it depends on how you look at it you know how people want to store their gold uh, but you know the big institutional money what they might want to do is not actually store the gold themselves they're going to trust it to a third party like a vault in a bank like JP Morgan Bank or HSBC Bank and these are like you know proper vault it's audited by big companies and uh, they're the ones who look after the security so at the end of the day they're doing they're doing an investment they want returns but they're just they're outsourcing the security the security process and that's gonna, that's what's going to happen for um, Bitcoin uh, because a lot of these big money makers in the in the in the world they don't want to hold the crypto on a crypto exchange uh, which I don't recommend your long-term portfolio anyway and they don't want to hold it on a cold storage device either if it's a significant amount of money so they're basically going to outsource it in the form of ETFs and it's going to be super exciting. So we potentially might get huge amounts of capital inflows into the crypto market in the form 
of uh, waves over time. It's just gonna be like a steady flow. This is what potentially can happen. And that's gonna slowly push up the Bitcoin price. So if we actually have a look right here, you know, people are talking about a radical shift uh, with Bitcoin. They're comparing it to the Bitcoin ETFs. And uh, people are saying this is going to add, you know, potentially, you know, 30, 30 billion dollars plus for a Bitcoin ETF or, you know, potentially the crypto market could go to trillions over multiple trillions. You're talking about like 30 trillion over the long term, 2030 right there. So there are some really big predictions about what's going to happen. But I do agree with what Alex Becker is saying right here that will fundamentally shift the way cryptocurrency will work in the future. And it's going to be potentially 48 hours before we have a big decision. So guys, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to stay tuned for that we'll be talking about that more in the future also important news certic the world's one of the world's biggest crypto auditing companies uh it's actually being hacked apparently so the scammer posted a malicious message urging readers to revoke approvals using a fake revoke.cash.app and so certic you know and this is generally uh you know the crypto company a lot of projects go to to show that it's legit it's secure they've analyzed the code they've analyzed the holders and they themselves actually potentially got hacked right here very unfortunate so it's a phishing hack and always just be very careful this is prevalent in crypto so it's going to be prevalent in these youtube comment sections it's going to be prevalent on twitter it's going to be prevalent in telegram as well and uh, if you ever get any dms from someone pretending to be me on twitter telegram discord whatever it is block them because they are most likely scammers in the crypto space so i'm not going to dm you and i'm uh, not going to ask you to participate in an airdrop i'm not going to ask you to click any funny links uh, or suspicious things, send me crypto or anything like that. So just stay safe in the crypto space. And I have seen this posted over to Reddit and there has been some big development for Monero. So Monero has been delisted by a lot of centralized exchange listings. And now they have atomic swap implementations for Monero, for Monero which I do think is good. But I also wanna just add to the party uh, for this is sometimes if you go into you know privacy cryptos, one of the risk factors you have to watch out for in the long run is what the US government does about it. So you know, will they ban any types of currencies in the future? Uh, if they do, it can definitely impact crypto. And I'm not saying they should ban it, but I'm just saying it's a risk factor you have to you know, assess when you're going into um, any type of privacy coin indeed and we've seen it play out with protocols like tornado cash so you cannot use tornado cash now if you're in the united states otherwise you run the risk of getting into huge trouble <laughs> uh, so always just watch out for political risk when you're going into different types of cryptos and guys with that let's talk about the crypto prices and before we do i want to remind you guys if you want to understand the low cap area of cryptocurrency make sure to um check out my course i'm going to be adding more valuable lessons to this in the future but it's a way if you're new to crypto you want to understand like low cap cryptos indeed and i will be setting up some exciting things about that but i will be adding some new lessons in there and it's just gonna be my one only course i ever have for crypto but i will continuously add to it over time uh, so if you guys are interested in like learning about low cap cryptos how to use decentralized swaps aggregators premium launch pads make sure to check out uh the course we run through altcoin gem factors plus a lot more as always in crypto you know figure out how to take profits on cryptos and it depends on what type of crypto you're going in for basically but you're going to have you know your blue chip long-term buy and holds uh they might be in the top 100 if you're going to low cap cryptos you know you really should be thinking about quick trades as well because some of them can go up they can shoot down the next day but one thing you have to be doing we talk about it in the 100x mastery course but you should really um be having a focus on taking profits okay we talk about the psychology of taking profits some you know red flags to watch out for and how you can become a better skilled trader in the crypto market so you have to remember you know in crypto there's going to be like 10,000 cryptos or 12,000 plus cryptos but at the end of the day what's going to make you more money is if you get your skills your experience and your knowledge up to uh, up uh, as much as high as possible basically in crypto a competitive edge against other traders out there and that's how you're going to make more money so if you want to learn a lot about my experience in crypto where i've made a lot of money you can take my course in the description of this video and i will be increasing the price of this over time as well as i add more lessons but if you get in early uh, you get it for this price but in the future the price will most likely go up as i increase the knowledge and having said that guys let's talk about some crypto bubbles today what are they doing in the crypto market right now so a lot of the crypto as i said to you it's we're in a bit of a volatility phase basically at the moment. So what does that mean? There's a lot of uncertainty about what this Bitcoin price is gonna do. So is it gonna break upwards on the SEC approval or is it could potentially, you know, could we get a black swan event and uh, SEC delays it or rejects it or something crazy um, and it breaks
breaks to the downside. That is the market right now. So the market is totally unsure what's going to happen in the crypto space. Um, but I do expect volatility in the next 48 hours. So stay safe. Watch out for that. But again, if you have a long term mindset in crypto, you know, it's going to be good for you, I think, anyway, as we get those big capital inflows. And uh, Corgi AI, shout out to that crypto. So that is a meme coin. And I think it's tied in strongly to Kronos. And always remember, you can make money in meme coins as well. We talk about lots of them on the channel. Uh, but always, you know, where you can lock away some profits. That's how you're going to make money in a lot of these cryptos. And if we do take a look at the top 100 today, you can see, you know, slight retracements in the Bitcoin price, Ethereum down slightly, BNB down slightly, ICP down uh, today. But remember, I did take a lot of profits at around the $15 level for ICP. Uh, but that is a, that's a nice crypto, I think, for a long term hold right there. But it's going to be interesting to see, uh, you know, how it performs, whether it gets that utility adoption at the end of the day. And if we scroll down right here, Casper retracing, potentially going into the nine cent level right there. So seeing some uh, interesting volatility with Casper. And, uh, you know, a lot of the cryptos, they're going to be down in the market today, relatively speaking, in comparison to Bitcoin. And if we do take a look at the meme coins today as well, which we are big fans of on the, on, on the channel right here, you can see the big standout today is Corgi AI up 20%. So shout out to Corgi AI community right there. And a lot of the other cryptos are going to be retracing unless they're doing something absolutely phenomenal. So Myro is actually pushing back up. So wow, that crypto is doing very good things in the crypto space. Snack holding on relatively steady. And there's going to be lots and lots lots of other exciting cryptos to keep your eyes on as this crypto market unfolds. And the next cryptos we'll be talking about on the channel, some early alpha for you guys uh, who stick around to the end of the video. So not everyone sticks around to the end of the video. It's funny on YouTube, about 50% of the audience, you know, they get up to the halfway point and they click off. But for you guys at the end, what are we going to be talking about next on the channel? And let me know if you want me to drop more of this early alpha at the end of the video. We'll be talking about Steamboat Willie <laughs> coming up on the channel. And uh, we're also going to be talking about Inspect XYZ. Uh, and that's coming up soon. So different projects, different value propositions coming up soon on the channel. Guys, I really appreciate you guys watching this and I'll see you guys in the next one. Crypto Zeus signing out.